Hi, this is Ant Miner Repair, and tonight we're going to look at some problems with replacing chips that you may run into. If you're interested in this type of subject, please hit that subscribe. It really helped me to have enough subscriptions to have YouTube pay for this channel, which would be wonderful. Um, also, if you're interested in this, you can hit that little bell and get notified when I produce new videos, which is pretty often because I have a lot of boards to fix. So, um, and then lastly, we have a Discord channel with about 100 users in it, close to 100, not quite, but very close, um, all about minor repair. And they're talking about soldering, hash boards, tools, repair guides. I highly recommend that you join the Discord server on that is linked to this video. Um, okay, so with that said, let's take a look at this. This is a board I've been working on. And I'm using the new um, Yihua 1000B hot plate. And I've been fairly successful doing chips on it. I'm still refining some processes. I'm pretty close to being able to share a video of it. In fact, I might make it tonight. I made another one, but I've changed some of my process. But, but I'm having particular problems with this chip and it's been heated up several times. And I wanted to explain what's happening so that you could be aware of this on your own boards. If you look at these legs, they have a green separator. And um, unfortunately, through time, the green, I think it's called the uh, solder resist layer, has gone away because this is pretty high up anyway, and allowed that the natural pins that from the chips that go into this area um, are worn off. And now solder can travel straight through to the board. Um, so it's fine. You can still set up these legs. So they're, they're fine, pretty much. These kind of behave a little bit way. They look funny. But um, so you can set up the car. But when you try to, to try to put the chip on, you can use your standard stuff. But what happens on these particular legs is when you get the solder in a molten state and the chip's ready to set, it all runs to the center of the chip and connects here and leaves the leg behind and makes your chip not work. Okay. So this pad needs work because I've got three chips that run on the big negative um, that I can't solder to the chip because these guys just run straight into the pad because the pad's bigger and hotter. Um, the other chips I get really beautiful, nice balls on and, um, and it sets well. Um, so what do you do in this case? Well, what I've ordered is some solder resist. There's, there's a couple types of solder resist, well, three types that I've researched. There's an epoxy that can take high heat. There's pins that take, you know, maybe 24 hours to dry that can handle 125 degrees centigrade. And then there's also an ultra, uh, ultraviolet light reactant type of green stuff you could put on here. And basically you clean this up as best you can, clean all the solder off of it, um, try to get down to the wire if you can, and then put this green patch going across it, and it'll um, protect this line and not allow solder going from here to run into the plate. The only concern I have with that, that stuff is that its operating temperature is 125 degrees Celsius, and soldering, is, of course, is higher than that. So I don't know what's going to happen during soldering um, for this, but this pad needs fixed before I can put a chip on it and, and finalize repair it. And so thought I would share that with you. So when you guys are working on your chips that if you get it worn down like this, cause it's just so much rework um, and trying to put chips on, you're gonna need to fix that with some of that stuff. I will um, post it. I'm kind of developing a list of all the tools I use. Definitely there's a lot of tools being presented um, on soldering and stuff on the Discord channel. There's actually a, a whole channel on tools under the server for, for minor repair. But um, I'll, I'll get a list going of all the stuff I use. Um, but I want to try out. I've got two different types. I want to see if it can withstand soldering before I recommend it to you. So anyway, I wanted to show you that. Um, coming up, we're going to be working on this board. And I've kind of cleaned it up. Let me find where I'm going to do it here. here. And this gives you an example. I'm really close to needing that repair right here. But if you notice, there's a very small band of green right there, the solder as you surfed it. I think I'm okay for one more uh, chip replacement here. So I'm gonna give it a try. Um, if I don't make it, I'll have to take this off and, and clean that and block that. But um, this chip is ready to, to have something set on it. I'm a little rough over here. 
but that's what I'm going to work on in the next video. And if it all works out on the BGA station and, and things are instructive, we'll, we'll throw that video out. If not, I will keep refining my process till I've got something that's repeatable to be able to share with you. All right. Thank you guys. And I um, appreciate you watching. Please hit that subscribe and that bell. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and uh, the discord channel, if you want to join, you can ask people questions, ask me questions, and we try our best to answer everything. Thank you very much.